This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. A drug suspect to spend the next few months behind bars, 48-year-old Terrence Brown, was this morning arraigned before Deputy Chief Magistrate Supasola Swain on conspiracy to possess dangerous drugs with the intent to supply and possession of dangerous drugs with the intent to supply, namely Indian hemp. The number 262 Hopkins Drive resident pleaded not guilty to both counts. He was denied bail and remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until Thursday, June 13th. Meantime, a correctional officer is landed on the wrong side of the law and is expected to soon appear in a magistrate's court to be formally charged with drug possession. The officer was arrested yesterday after a team of drug enforcement and Bahamas correctional officers searched him and found six packages of marijuana taped to his body. The drugs amounted to one pound and 11 ounces, the value $1,000. Talk about a brush with danger. The Bahamas Agricultural and Marine Science Institute, or BAMSI, assuring that a recent bushfire on the island of Andrus that spread along Queens Highway to the north of the Institute's nursery and shade house facility was quickly smothered thanks to the collaborative effort of residents, BAMSI staff, and the Mennonite community. Further, BAMSI staff, students, assets, or property has not been threatened or affected by the fire. We're told the Institute's academic arm and farm operations continue as normal. Classes are ongoing. The acres of produce remain untouched, presently being prepared for harvesting. Fire gutted a dormitory at the Institute several years back. Police later confirmed that the fire was an act of arson. Several pieces of legislation clearing the upper chamber. On to becoming law are the Investment Fund Bill, Multinational Entities Financial Amendment Bill, and the Automatic Exchange of Financial Account Information Amendment Bill. This after senators debated the bills as a compendium. Leading off that debate was leader of government business in the Senate, Attorney General Carl Bethel. This bill is a significant advance in the right direction. It amalgamates several of the powers granted to the Commission, the Securities Commission, in the Securities Industry Act, and applies the broad regulatory and administrative powers of the Securities Commission towards the regulation of securities generally, but also, specifically in this case, to the regulation of investment funds. The government's looking to facilitate the growth of the local cryptocurrency market. Draft legislation is out for public consultation to give the Bahamas the edge in this regard. And the Digital Assets and Registrants Exchange Bill is the regulatory framework on the table. The Bahamas at this point may be new to the cryptocurrency scene, but according to Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Peter Turnquist, requests continue to come into the government for crypto custodians and companies conducting security token offerings that will want to base their companies in the Bahamas. The proposed bill creates a legislative structure by which persons who wish to participate in the digital token space are guided on the requirements for entry into the entry to and participation in the industry. These requirements stipulate who may participate, the level of capital required, the rules for reporting, and seeking the Commission's approval and the penalties for failure to comply. The bill developed by the Securities Commission is available on its website. Our final stories up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.